five Thunderbolt 3 hubs for your Mac with two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Let's go. All right, so if you watch my videos, you know I do a ton of educational videos. I show people how to do stuff. And then I do videos like this where I just show people what's available to buy. I don't actually necessarily have them in-house, but I go find some stuff, I do some reviews, and I just wanna show people what's out there. That's the case today, so I just wanna give a disclaimer. I'm gonna show you five different hubs on Amazon that are highly, highly rated. But at the end of the day, these are different because of one reason. They basically have two Thunderbolt 3 ports. A lot of the hubs you find out there are gonna be like 100, 150 bucks. And everyone asks me, what's the difference between the $100 hub and maybe a $250, you know, $100, $250 hub? And when you're dealing with Thunderbolt 3, you know, the $100 $150 hubs usually have one Thunderbolt 3 connection coming from your computer into, your, into the hub. And that's 40 gigabits per second. But then outside of the hub, you usually have five gigabit or 10 gigabit per second ports. Um, USB-C, you know, Gen 1, Gen 2, something like that. This, these, the five hubs I'm gonna show you today actually have two Thunderbolt 3 hubs, uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports. And what they're gonna do is that means basically you can plug in from your computer at 40 gigabits, and then you can actually have another device plug into the hub at 40 gigabits per second. That's the key difference. You can also daisy chain up to five different devices on these hubs through that 40 gigabit per second connection. So if you're gonna be connecting like an eGPU through this, or you're gonna be, you know, you just need that through because you're a professional, this is the main difference. These are higher end hubs I'm gonna show you today. What's available, you know, what, you know, obviously I'll show you what they all include. They're highly rated. I'll have links in the description. If you guys wanna check them out, you can go ahead and click on them and just take a look at them. But these ones I know work really well for the Mac. And uh, go ahead and take a look and let me know what you think. All right, so the very first one I'm gonna show you today is called the Linked Up Thunderbolt 3 Hub. It's got a very good rating here. It's about 4.5 out of five. Now, the thing I wanna show you, the difference between this hub and some of the cheaper hubs is you gotta look, it's got the two Thunderbolt 3 ports I'll show you here in a second. And down here, it looks, you know, the thing you always wanna look for is it says a daisy chain up to five Thunderbolt 3 devices. That means it's gonna have that 40 gigabit per second out also, not just in. So that's important. So when we look at this hub in particular, look at the right screen over here. If you look kind of down there, it's gonna have, let me show you here, it's gonna have two Thunderbolt 3, see the two lightning bolts there? One's for your computer going in, and then the other one's coming out. Um, so that's the important factor with these hubs, and what makes them different is that 40 gigabit per second is in and out. So if you look at this hub, it has an SD card reader, it has you know some USB type C ports, which are the same size, but it's only a 3.1 Gen 2 type C port. So if you have something like that on your computer, you know that, that isn't Thunderbolt 3. And I have a video I'll link into my description. You want to check that out. What's the difference between Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C? Um, they're the same port, but they're different speeds. You have to have a computer that has Thunderbolt 3 on it and it has, you know, that to get this to work correctly. But anyways, this hub has the two Thunderbolt ports down there, as you can see. And it also has a lot of other things. This allows you to connect dual 4Ks or one 8K display. It also has this uh, gigabit Ethernet jack here. So this is a pretty good one. Um, it's 239. And let's go ahead and take a look, a look at another one. This is in stock at Amazon. I have this, you know, links in the description. The second one here is very similar. If you look at this one, that's the Targus Thunderbolt 3 8K docking station. It's got 85 watt power delivery. Now the difference with this one again is it's it's going to have. You know, the two, it's got one Thunderbolt 3, if you read here, upstream, and then it's got one Thunderbolt 3 downstream. So if we take a look at this again, um, let me go ahead and mouse over this. Look on the right over there. Um, and the left-hand side of that actual hub, you see the two Thunderbolts. One's the host, which your computer has to have a Thunderbolt 3 connection into this, and then this can come out and it can daisy chain those um, up to five devices. This also has, has display port connections, uh, gigabit ethernet, and a bunch of USB 3.2 Gen 1, uh, and then a lock slot. Um, I believe it has a couple other ports on the other side. It has like a SD card reader and uh, one, just one USB-C port in the front and another USB port, so and also a, a headphone jack. Anyways, this one's $299, so that's the difference why these are so expensive. Let's take a look at the third one here. All right, now another company you've always heard me talk about is Otherworld Computing. They have a bunch of Thunderbolt 3 docks as well. This one's a really good one. Again, it's basically going to be, you know, it's, it's got their name on it, so Thunderbolt 3 dock. Again, let's scroll down here really quickly. It says daisy chain up to five additional Thunderbolt 3 devices. You can see it right here, down here. That tells me it's got the two ports. Let's go back down and I'll have a little bit better uh, view of it here. So it's Thunderbolt 3 dock. It's got the micro SD, SD card, headphone jack. It's got a USB 3.1 Gen 1, that's five gigabits per second. It's got a USB 3.1 Gen 2, that's 10 gigabits per second. But on the back here, it's got all these other ports, but then it's got these two Thunderbolt 3 here you can see, and that's the main difference there. It can daisy chain everything. So if you take a look at this, that is what this does well, and it can allow that 40 gigabit per second up and down. And that's the key here. You can do like uh, mini display, you know, you can basically 
basically do higher end monitors. If you want multiple monitors, you can do an eGPU and things like that as well. Let's go to the next one. And I'll have links to these all in the description. This is the other world computing Thunderbolt 3 Dock Pro Dock, this one here. Um, let's scroll down on this one. You can see all the ports here. It's got, you know, but in the very beginning, you can see the two Thunderbolt 3 ports right here. And uh, that's the, you know, the main thing that you want to look for again is that right there. Um, it does have, it says bandwidth edit from your server. It's got a 10 gigabit per second ethernet port, which is huge. A lot of people need that. And uh, it's really good. So this one's $328 only because it's got that 10 gig port. Um, but it's it's got, you know, everything that you would need on this thing as far as connections. Um, but there, you're, that's exactly what you're looking for there. So check this one out as well. Look at the reviews. If you're looking for a Thunderbolt 3, I highly recommend this one also. Other World Computing is really known for, you know, working very compatible with Macs. They always test everything out so you don't run into any problems. Another one by them is, I can't pronounce this, it's A-K-I-T-I-O, -I -I Thunderbolt 3 Dock Pro. It's by Otherworld Computing 2. You can get, you know, I'll have a link to it. Same thing here. If you go down here, Thunderbolt 3 for lightning fast transfer up to 40 gigabit per second. Um, and again, the same thing. This is going to say the same thing. You can daisy chain up to five different devices. This one, let me see here. This one may or may not be in stock. This one's sold out because I believe this one also has a 10 gigabit per second port on it. And I think it was like in the 200s, somewhere in that range. I'll see if I can find it on Amazon. Um, but this is another one that might actually work good for you. Um, and it falls within that, that price range. But it's, um, again, going to be guaranteed to work on those uh, MacBooks and things like that because you you know that's what they're known for other world computing and then the last one i said five but i'm going to do six instead is this one it's the cal digit ts3 plus thunderbolt 3 dock and uh, this is on amazon i'll have a link to it as well but it's got two times thunderbolt 3 40 gigabit per second right here you can see it right here so if you look at this one on the front, it's got the micro SD card, it's got the headphone jack, it's got a couple USB 5 gigabit per second. But on the very back there, if you can see it on the lower left hand uh, picture there, it's got the two Thunderbolt 3 docks. It's got a number of 5 gigabit per second uh, jacks in there as well. One USB 10 gigabit, that's a Gen 2 USB C port. So it's got a whole bunch, including Display Port and, and you name it. It looks like digital out as far as sound and a gigabit, gigabit Ethernet. That's 229. And uh, that's a, you know, one that's again good for it says Mac and PC right here so you know mac pro and stuff so definitely check that one out so i just wanted to show people what's out there uh what you can look for if you're looking for a high-end hub and uh, it's important to look for this if you're really looking to get that 40 gigabit per second transfer rate for eGPUs and a whole bunch of other devices that you want to daisy chain well, I hope that helps some people. A lot of people always ask me, well, what's the difference between this hub and that hub? And this is the main difference I'm showing you right now. The really expensive hubs are the hubs that, you know, are gonna have a lot more throughput on them, are gonna be these type of hubs where they have the two Thunderbolt 3 connections, one in, one out. You also have to make sure your computer is Thunderbolt 3 compatible. Definitely make sure that, that's that's a key. If you just, you know, if you have a USB-C port, it looks like Thunderbolt 3. I have a video, you can check that out. What's the difference between Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C, Gen 1, Gen 2, and all that stuff. So make sure you understand that because Thunderbolt 3 port is 40 gigabits per second, but a uh, Thunderbolt 3.1 Gen 2 is only 10 gigabits per second, and uh, they have the same port. So you have to make sure that you have the little lightning bolt next to it and have like a USB-C type port, and that'll be Thunderbolt 3, and this hub will work for you. Anyways, I just want to make these videos to show people what's available. You know, I love just looking at different types of products for Mac and stuff. So anyways, if you guys can subscribe to my channel, um, again, I make a lot of educational videos on Apple. I also do PC, travel, some finance, stuff like that, but mo mostly technology now. And uh, stay safe with the pandemic out there, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.